What's up guys, welcome back. So we're driving TikTok. I got the new wheels on from Beefcake. We got some uh, B-Locks on there. The most important thing though, the trans is good. Uh, the temps are good. I'm gonna show you guys, hold on one second. Two. That's pretty good, I mean, I really can't complain. Uh, I've been driving the car, you know, messing around, getting into the gas here and there. It's actually rush hour traffic too, so um, I'm very happy with them temps. Uh, I did put a Mishimoto trans cooler in here. It's freaking huge. It pretty much takes up the hole between the radiator and condenser. It slips right in there. It's it's almost the same size as the condenser, so I'm, I'm pretty uh, happy. I mean, look at them temps. I mean, I'm just cruising right now, but I haven't seen temps. I did do like a couple back-to-back -back pulls, and I didn't reach temps anywhere over like 203 um, which with the other cooler I would do one pull and I would shoot up to like 217 which you know apparently I've been you know told and I've actually been looking into isn't that terribly bad but you know also we're not putting stock horsepower through this transmission so uh, you know I'm just not comfortable with that but um, I mean look 194 the trans so everything i've seen and read the trans it has the thermostat on it and it opens up at about 200 degrees um and you know my temps were over 200 they were like 201 i guess it opened up and sucked in that cold fluid and now we're back down so anyway once we get out a little bit of traffic here we're gonna head over to mexico we'll do a couple pulls Guys, we're ready. Uh, Sunday, a uh, buddy of mine, uh, Billy Weber, is going to have, uh, he's having a dyno day at his shop. He's a big Mopar guy. Uh, Mopar Addictions with a Z on the end, if you guys want to check him out on Facebook. Uh, he's got a Hellcat. It's pretty nasty. Actually, the car that I was doing a roll with when I blew my trans. So, since then, I know he's done some other modifications. Uh, but he has a shop, and like I said, he's into Mopars. And he has a dyno in there, and he's going to do a dyno day on Sunday. So the plan is to do a little bit of logging, hopefully get with John before today's Thursday, um, before Friday tomorrow, do some logging, and uh, try to see if we what we can turn this thing up to safely with the boost with these injectors. Um, I did contact. Um, uh, injector dynamics uh, about some other injectors and they told me on E85 with these 1050Xs I'm limited to about a thousand wheel and I run out of an injector so um, we'll find out on Sunday I want to see if I can get it on the dyno you know turned up a little bit I have had the car turned up to 16 pounds that's, that's where I was when I lost the tranny um, I want to say so we were probably, probably close to a thousand wheel at 16 pounds give or take um so anyway like i said um sunday we're gonna video all that too so uh, hopefully it turns out to be a nice day and uh, we have a lot of fun with it so a little fyi to you guys stay tuned for that video traffic starting to lighten up as we get closer to the mexico border and so let's see if we can you know do what we can do we're on gate pressure right now um i do want to get over there and turn it up a little bit and do some logging on, you know, some different uh, boost settings, so let's see what we can do here. extremely happy with the car the car is finally running where i would like it to run uh temperature um it's you know we're not smoking no more the turbo smoke issues going um the trans temps are great the coolant temps are great the car feels amazing it's driving very smooth there's no wheel vibration there's no any type of road noise or road vibration, you know, the bare minimum that you would expect with um, bushings and stuff in this car. So finally, guys, after a long road, um, I'm actually very happy. 
you know, a lot of you guys have been following the channel. If you, if you have not, go back and check some of the videos out. This car has tested my patience, and um, and finally, uh, I'm happy with the car. Um, so from this point on, uh, hopefully we can go out and have some fun with the car, um, and you know, turn it up gradually. And, uh, I think I'm gonna try to keep it a little low and have some fun with the car before I break it again, because you guys know I like to break shit. Uh, I just push it to the limit, so. But I just wanted to say, guys, I'm happy with the car. It is rocking, it is really feeling good, and um, I got some logs, I'm gonna send them over to Lund. And, um, all right guys, so after we get this car to the dyno Sunday, I gotta check the schedule next week. We're gonna get the car to the track and see what she does in a quarter mile. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna see if there's any track rentals out there because they're a little, you know, they're more lenient to uh, ETA and, you know, times and stuff like that. So um, stay tuned, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I said, I mean, you know, if you haven't followed this build or don't know about this build, go check out some of the other videos. Um, this car has came a long way and it's finally starting to work. It's finally starting to come together as my vision is once was. Um, so stay tuned, guys. God bless.